Okay, so I had a question from a customer about how do I deal with inserting the hot swap sockets. And so I just wanted to give a quick overview of how I do it, and um, hopefully it will help someone. Um, the case we're working on is not perfect. This this side here is, is done, and you can see the print's nice and clean. Everything came out good. The reason I didn't sell this case, um, some of these came out a little bit rough. They're still usable, but it's not the quality I normally hope for. This one looks really good. This one looks really good. Um, so anyway, the way I do this is like this. You just take your socket. I typically put it, I insert it on the bent side first. So put that down into the lip like that and get it kind of lined up. And you'll see this edge is still sticking up. And then I'll just take a flat blade screwdriver right here in the middle, give it a press, and it'll pop right down in. And then, you know, if you look at the front, you'll see that it's, it's inserted there, um, you know, nice and even with the surface. Um, the other thing you can do, you know, the the edge of each socket actually has a bit of a lip designed into it. Okay, if you have one that's particularly difficult, you can pry that up a little bit with your with your tool, or you can cut it away with your blade. And then, um, what I like to do, it's not really necessary a lot of times, but I like to come back and right right about here in this corner where there's the less amount of stuff going on I'll hit it with a drop of you know super glue CA um, thin stuff that'll bleed in there and that completely secures it forever at that point um, another question was about how do I deal with the this really tight one here in the corner and I'm working on new cases that won't have the the lug in that spot so it won't be a problem anymore but right now uh, the best way to do that it, you know, if you're having a hard time, you can totally cut a piece of this off here with your utility blade. That's no problem at all. There's plenty of meat here for your um, screw mount to, to slide in there without an issue. So you can you can cut that away and make some space. But here, if you look on the other case, the way I did it was... Um, I did cut a little tiny piece off there. But what I did was I, I actually soldered up my diode before I put it in place. So I soldered the diode to the hot swap, and then I slid it in as a unit and put it in so I didn't have to do any soldering under that lug. Um, one other tip, especially if you're building a 6x6, is to do that same thing on the top row. Um, it's real deep up here, and it's hard. It's kind of, you know, relatively vertical compared to these other ones that are nice and flat and easy to work on. You're working up here in, this, in the back. Um, it's tricky. So take your hot swaps, and I, I do my rows and my diodes on that one. So I'll start my rows at the very top um, on this side, and I'll put my diode on the opposite side and I will insert them with those already connected so that I don't have to work up here in this deep area. Um, four by six cases and smaller cases don't really have that problem because it doesn't get as vertical. You know, the, the sculpt doesn't go that deep, so it's not an issue. So hopefully that helps somebody. Um, if you have any questions, you know, I'm always on Discord, I'm always on chat on the website, so hit me up. Please ask, ask questions, I will help you. Um, and if you have, you know, an issue, we'll take care of it. Thank you very much.